Hello guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we might be getting the new whip. Crazy. I already have a car. It's a Nissan Sentra 2011. That was my first car that I got when I was 18, I believe. And now I'm 20. I just turned 20 May 30th on Sunday. By the time you're watching this, that would have been a long time ago. My parents gifted me that car for Christmas, my very early Christmas present. Very grateful for that car. Thank you, parents, if you're watching this. There are starting to become a lot of things going wrong with my car that obviously, you know, I could fit. I just feel like I should invest that money into a newer car. So that's what we're doing. If you guys saw my other car video, we did go car shopping. We tried to figure out what car we wanted. Actually, I already knew what car I wanted before I even got there. At first, I wanted a 2021 or 2020 but then I did a little bit more research literally two nights ago I realized that the 2019 literally has the same features as the 2020 or the 20 as the 2021 this car is gonna be my very very long-term car so at the moment yes this is my this is my dream car so I'm gonna get a 2019 Honda Civic sedan ex i remember the first time i was looking into cars i thought i wanted the lx but the lx is such like it's literally the base it doesn't have a sunroof it doesn't have push to start and if this is about to be a car that i have forever i would want it oh my god i just messed my hair up i would want it to have everything that i want and i don't want to look back and be like dang i should have gotten this car so that i could have had a sunroof so might as well just get it now you know so that's why i want the ex because it has literally everything yeah i want a civic ex and also in the video i did not tell you guys what color i wanted i either want white that white is so pretty to me never thought i would have been a white car person and before i was really going back and forth with white or black i did not know if i wanted white or black you know i see them in person when i'm driving and stuff but like when i went to the dealership in that video that you guys saw i came to realization that the black is actually ugly um i don't like the black i actually hate the black i don't like it I either want the white the silver or that really that gray i don't know what kind of what gray that is but i feel like y'all know you see them on the k5s but i do want the white and i want a black interior so we're not asking for much you know my tank top is from shein my bagger shirts are from shein my slippers wally and then my bag is from victoria's secret my scrunchie is from shein these are my keys now probably not gonna have two keys just gonna have one all right i just wanted to show y'all my car this is my nissan Sentra 2011 i'm gonna show y'all like what's wrong like the reason as to me getting a new car you guys can see like the paint it's chipping these work fine my steering wheel does not work these buttons they don't do anything let me see if my horn still works from it used to just work but it had to be turned at an angle my dad took it to the shop and then the horn is now right here and then this used to be like a change thing but now i can't use it and that is kind of unsafe like if somebody else is driving my car i kind of forget to tell them like my horn's not right here none of these work my horn is right here i don't know what specifically is wrong with it this i think it's my airbag thing this one right here the one with the exclamation mark that could mean tire pressure that could be my sensor that could be my brake that could be my fluid for my windshield that could be so many things but i don't know because it doesn't it doesn't tell me i don't like how this looks right here it's like worn out my tail light is out i just rather invest my money into a new car than spend all this money and then i feel like this car isn't even gonna last me this long this has 164,000. if i were to get 164,000 on honda that'd be fine because hondas last forever i don't know if they're gonna let me record which car is this let me see what here oh this is the lx that's not what i'm okay guys quick update i told him what i want for my car so uh, he gave us two cars to look at they don't have the white bruh yeah we're gonna go look at the car when he gets back right now we just sit in
I just wanted to inform you guys on why I did not get that car. So first of all, the price of it was like 27000 not even adding the tax yet. It was only a 2018, but it had, you know, everything that I wanted. I might as well just have gotten a new car, literally a brand new car, a 2021 that is around that price. So it made no sense to get a 2018 that was... 27,000 but everything about it was good besides the price like the color I was just gonna deal with it because I couldn't find a white in my city or just those two dealerships that I went to it only had 8,000 miles no accidents I thought it was meant to be but I'm happy that I did not get it because um why am I paying 27,000 for a 2018 makes no sense hi y'all it has been some time but today is finally the day today is the day we get the new whip today is the day we get my car so yeah as i said it's been some time since i last talked to you guys it's now july 11th today's sunday it's 11 in the morning so let me just explain to you guys really quick let me turn my fan off last time that we talked i really thought i was about to get that gray civic there's only two things that was not what i wanted the color because i want white and then the year that was a 2018 it had a everything that i wanted it was the model that i wanted it had great mileage but tell me how they put the price at 27 bro that didn't even make sense if you guys were to walk in there and pay for that price you might as well just have gotten a new car because that's crazy they be scamming bro they be scamming also i wasn't able to get the car because i did not have a cosigner and the only way that i would have gotten it without a cosigner is 300 <laughs> Let's say 300000 <laughs> $3,000 down payment. And at that time, I only had 1900 But I decided to go that day because my brother told me, like, let's try to see if I could put a $1,500 down payment. So that's why we went that day, you know? So I needed a $3,000 down payment. And my brother was like, hell no, let's just go get a new car. Which I did not want to do because that's not small. We went to Honda because that place that we went to was called the Civic that I liked. It was at Toyota. So we went back to Honda because that's where we were at first. We were looking at the, I don't know if it was a 21 Sport, I think. The only thing that I that it did not have really was a sunroof and I really, really, really wanted a sunroof. He said that the only way I could get it with a signer is $3,000 down payment and I did not have that. The part that I did not show at all, we went to drive time, we went to look at an Infiniti. Well, we went to go look at Hondas but they didn't have any. We saw an Infiniti, I loved it. I don't really like interiors of Infinities, like just how it looks on the inside just because it looks too futuristic. The outside, gorgeous. It was a 2018. The salesman asked me for a pay stub, I gave him one and then he asked me for another one and i didn't have another one i just want to clarify because i did not say i did not get the infinity because they asked me for a four thousand dollar down payment yeah and also they said like both of those salesmen from honda and toyota they said that since i'm my credit score like i have a good credit score but it's not secured so i would need a cosigner and if i did not have a cosigner i would have to have three thousand dollar down payment instead of me bringing two pay subs bitch i got five instead of me bringing one thousand nine hundred dollar down payment bitch i got three thousand dollar down payment we are we are ready today i'm so excited so last time we went in my car but this time we're gonna take my mom's car so i have to go fill up her tank and stuff the dealership opens at 12 and it's 11 06 and and we're actually not going to be shopping in the Portion and Lucy area today. We are going to go to West Palm. Last night, I went on the internet and I searched up de Honda dealerships in West Palm. And I found one. I found two, actually. And I put in, you know, the model, the make, the year of the car that I want. And I decided to go to the dealership that I'm about to go to now. This is the one I saw online. This is a 2021. Never mind. I'm, I'm going to buy a car for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. These are the 2022s. They're raw. Hey guys, a lot has happened and I just didn't even tell y'all. But right now it's 4:02. Basically, things are going really good. Got the car. <laughs> right now it's 5:55 and you're like, girl, these are not your seats yet, yeah, cause I got the car. Uh, I'm actually at my house. I drove it home and everything so I'm home now. Oh my god. This is no longer my car <laughs> So I am gonna give you guys a car tour but more in depth will be in my car decorating video Which I'm actually about to film right this second. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful I'm so blessed. Could I have done this without God? I'm so grateful that I got the job that I just recently got which is a patient transporter. So a little information about the car I got a 2019 Honda Civic EX 
white the color i wanted i manifested this so hard but yeah it's not a sport the sport does not have a sunroof and i really i have a sunroof now what is life what is this what is going on Oh my gosh, I feel so good. I'm so excited to start filming the decorating video so that I can actually personalize it and make it my own. Let me show y'all the keys. Ah! And it has the Honda logo. Like, wow, I really, really did that. Okay, let me just show you guys around. I'm not gonna go too in depth. So this is the driver's side. And this is actually not black interior, which is actually what I wanted. But I like this interior. It's a tan interior. I feel like it gives it a more newer look. This is my steering wheel. This is my freaking touchscreen thingy. I have heated seats. I forgot all of Push to start, baby girl. I never had no push to start in her life. So yeah, that's all that you guys are gonna get to see of the car. You're just gonna have to stay tuned to the car tour. So definitely make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell. So let me just give you guys an update. I wanted to do this because a lot of people in car videos, they do not even say how much they put down. They do not say their experience. They do not put any of that. They just made it seem like the process was so easy and that's not that's not how it is. So first of all, I put down 3,000. My credit score, I think like 630. Definitely make sure that your credit score is good, especially if you're not depending on anyone to co-sign for you. You know, like you're responsible for yourself. By getting your credit score up, make sure that if you have a car at the moment, make sure that you're, you know, getting your car payments paid because that's what matters. Paying your car insurance does not make your credit score go up. Paying your car payment makes your credit score go up. If you have a Victoria's Secret card, make sure that you're paying those off. All because you have a credit card does not mean to go buck wild on it. You gotta spend everything on it. Cause that's not how it is. Spend what you can afford. If you do not have a credit score like at all, you know, you're new to this, you're new to the game, you probably just turned 18. Girl, go open some credit cards. And by some, I mean at least three or four. If you do not wanna do three or four cards, you can do two or three, but just make sure that you set your credit limit to about 500. Don't make it 200 because then you'll just literally be in the predicament that i was just in because i did not have a secured credit also why it was so hard for me to get my car the day that i went before like the first clip that you guys saw was because my credit score was good but it wasn't secured because i only had two credit cards so i would say like three or four but obviously make sure that you balance it out all because you have three or four doesn't mean you have to use all three or four of those cards. You could literally just use two of them and don't even touch the other two. Just make it minimalistic. Also, setting your credit card limit. I would suggest doing 500. I only had 200 on mine, so that also made it a little bit harder for me that day. The first clip that you guys saw when I went. Make sure that you do your research of like what to watch out for when these salesmen or women try to come at you. Because they will say anything just to make you pay a little bit more. For example, when I had went to get the car that I have now, I told them I had 2,500 to put down, right? But I had 3,000. You do not want to spend your whole money. I mean, you could if you have to, but I wouldn't recommend. It also depends on what car you're getting. If you can do 2,500, do that so that you have a little bit extra money for yourself. Or if whatever you decide to put it towards, your first car payment or your first car insurance payment, you know? I told them I had 2,500. They told me I have to at least put down $6,000. They will say anything and they say that because everything that you put down, not all of that goes to your car. Half of it or however they divide it, I don't know, but some of it goes to them. Not all of it goes to your car. So that's so what I'm saying. Like if you can put down 2,500 or even 1,500, do that. It just depends on what car you get. But they do be scamming y'all. So you gotta watch out. When they show you your final price on that paper, make sure that you look at everything because they will add things. And some words are not gonna make sense because it's like, what is this? You know, you're new to this. You know, you think this is just what's supposed to be on there, but it's not. I told them, okay, I can do 3,000. They were like, oh, you're gonna need to put down 3,500. They were just doing the most. And I was like, I can't do that. So then he was like, oh, let me go talk to whoever. He went in the back literally two minutes later. He was like, yeah, we can do 3,000. You know, they just want your money. So, you know, it wasn't an easy process. And then actually, I think three days later, after I got my car, they told me that I have to put another 200 down because the bank whatever i actually didn't mind because it made my payment lower like a lot lower like 50 dollars lower so i was cool with it or else they would take my car so i had to put down another 200 so basically i put down 3200 and thanks to my mom 
for handing me that 200 that's what i mean by making sure that you don't put down all your amount i'm very very happy and satisfied with my car it was an experience and an experience that i do not plan on doing anytime soon but thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm sorry that i had to end the video on like this terrible quality but i was editing and i have to get this video up today and i'm trying to hurry because i gotta go to the gym you don't get that little workout for show also i forgot to say make sure that when you are like looking around the car you turn down the music so that you can hear of any noises you check the tires you ask when was the last oil change and you also make sure to ask the, for the car fax to see if it's been in an accident if they do not want to give you a car fax baby it's been in a car accident you gotta go to another dealership find another car something also i touched up on this early in the video i would recommend checking out what you can find online because that's what i did and my car cost nineteen thousand, and it's usually 20 something thousand but you know the tax made it go to 20 something thousand you know it was cheaper than just being like hi i want a honda civic you know yeah okay now that's it for the video if you guys have any questions like anything let me know and i will answer them or if you guys even have any advice to any other people that are watching this about buying a car make sure that y'all drop it in the comments so that we can all have some knowledge on buying a car because they really do be trying to take our money my car tour will be coming up very very soon so as i said make sure that y'all subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time that your girl posts i'm trying to upload like every week do not forget to check out the description box so you guys can see my social media to see what i'm doing when i'm not posting on youtube and i also be on tiktok all the time but that's all i hope that you guys enjoyed again as i said and i'll see y'all boys in my next video bye <laughs>